today I'm here to commission this Actron Air package unit. I think it's like a 25 kilowatt package unit. Does a set of offices, or just a office downstairs. Um, so yeah, basically gonna run through that. Uh, Full, uh, full discretion, <laughs> I am not a commissioning tech, so I don't have, like, I just kind of have, a, you know, things that I like to tick off and make sure that are okay, so, you know, it's not like this is a, yeah, I, this is not something that I do all the time, um, but yeah, like I said, I, I've got a, like a, a couple of things that I like to do, but you know, if you watch this and think you can give me any advice on other things I could do to be to be better at this in, in general, then definitely hit me up in the comments, I'd, I'd love to know it, but um, yeah. As you can see, obviously, currently it is actually running. Um, I was supposed to get here. <coughs> I was supposed to get here a couple of days ago. Um, ended up having a couple of call outs and just, yeah, other things got in the way. So yeah, here we are today, it is running, but we'll, first thing I might do is I'll um, I will shut it down. Well, actually, I'll open up the panel, we'll shut it down. I wanna you know, go through, tighten up all the electrical connections. Um, yeah, we'll just jump straight into it. Inside of our panel here. Um, yeah, basically, I'm going to run downstairs. I'm going to shut this thing down, tighten up all these electrical connections, go through, tighten up all the traders to start with. Then I'll probe up. Um, and once I've done all that as well, I've got to work out. They want me to balance, um, like do a, you know, a, a, a rough air balance, I guess, downstairs, um, which we can do as well. Apparently, they've got so I think this feeds like a main duct down here, and then off that, they've got the flex running through the roof and then they have dampers in there so yeah Some of those are pretty loose, <coughs> especially the ones from factory. So that's usually why they, uh, I think in most commissioning manuals, they'll tell you obviously to go through and tighten all the electrical connections. Cause in reality, you know, humans are doing it. Humans make mistakes or humans just uh, overlook things, you know, naturally. Um, so, you know, it's always good just to go through and make sure that they're all tight. We'll say all are now. I'll go ahead and tighten up the Schrader cores as well. that one is it's crazy man let me swap hands there you go that was a bit better uh, direct drive motor looks pretty clean in there hey um, I'm tighten this one as well Looks like a pretty good install. Let's make sure <coughs> yep, there's water in that. Cool, so visual inspections all look pretty good. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just test the amperage of the compressor um, and 
and I think the indoor, uh, I'm pretty sure the indoor is controlled by that board, so it's an ECM motor. Um, but yeah, so we'll just get the, the, we'll get the thing back up and running, take the amperages of the compressor, and then we'll jump down and we'll try to work out um, like an airflow balance um, situation. So the compressor has just turned on. Looks pretty good. Um, what we might do as well, uh, not that I imagine there's gonna be any issues, but we'll probe up as well, just see what our pressures are doing. Running for about 20 minutes now. Things are looking pretty good. Um, amperages are still. This, this compressor is allowed to run 16 amps. It says yeah, 16 amps max. So we're obviously well below that. Um, pressure's looking okay. Um, I'm going to call up temper zones. I want to get like a service manual to work out. You know, um, basically if there's anything that I need to adjust. Uh, I'm fairly confident there's not. These things usually come just like kind of plug and play type situation. But um, you know, again, 52 degree head uh, or condensing temp is not like crazy, crazy high, but I mean, I don't know if it needs to be that high and if there's a way I can adjust the fan. Either way, I'll call Actron and um, and suss that out, see if they can send me like a, yeah, a service manual for this thing and maybe even a commissioning sheet. They might have some like specific things that they want you to do. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep monitoring this for a little while. This particular unit is a um, like a fixed orifice metering device. So usually what happens is it'll take a while to kind of stabilize out because the, the compressor's fixed speed. So it's constantly, you know, moving the same amount of refrigerant, but that thing will only obviously let a fixed amount through. So it kind of seems to take a while. So same thing with like your pillory tube systems as well. You know, it'll, it'll usually take a while for the presses to kind of um, equalize out and then it make a bit more sense. So, uh, but they, they're looking pretty good. So I got onto Actron and they sent me across a link to all of their, <clears throat> like where you can find their manuals and stuff. Um, for whatever reason, if anyone else has <laughs> gets sent the same link and they kind of take you to where all their manuals are, this one's under split ducted for whatever reason. That doesn't make any sense. Or commercial split ducted or whatever. Anyway, um, so there was a little there was a little commissioning sheet in there. Again, it wasn't anything crazy. Um, I did ask them. So that that is the uh, indoor fan board and that is just a percentage of what the fan's spinning. So 78%. Um, they said, I talked to them about the, the head pressure and they said they weren't concerned about that. So anyway, I'm just gonna grab my suction um, pipe temp and my discharge pipe temp. If I can take a photo and add that to the job as well, just so we have a reference point, I guess. I might even take the, I might take the liquid temp as well, eh? May as well. <clears throat> there we go, we'll grab that one as well. Things are looking pretty good. Amperages has kind of stabilized out at about, you know, 10.8 to 11.2, you know, which is pretty good. Um, my discharge temperature is only 85, that's that's nice. Um, not too high, which is good. Again, you, so these things obviously, you saw the in the previous, uh, or like one of the previous clips I put up, the size of the coil on the indoor, or like the indoor coil compared to the size of your outdoor, right? So that's why you'll have elevated head pressure in heating mode, because you basically, um, rejecting your heat through a smaller coil. 
So that's fine. Like I said, I spoke to Actron, they said they weren't too concerned about it. Anyway, I think what we might do now um, is we'll head downstairs and try to do a bit of air balancing. Again, like I said, I'm not a commissioning tech. I don't do it all the time. So the only thing I really have to do that is this, which is basically just a little... There we go, master satisfied there, hey? Um, it's basically this little thing here, so. Cool, all packed up, we'll head down now and do a bit of air balancing. I'll, um, I'll get as much footage as I can, but like I said, it is an office space, so. This is our supply duct coming down. And then we've got just dampeners coming off there, so. Yeah, we'll go grab a couple of base, me base, me uh, base measurements. So this is in one of the smaller offices where they say it's getting quite warm, so. We'll see if we can either dampen it down or, yeah, what our course of action is. So that small office is just there, which is basically the first off this and you can see I'll drop some photos but it was um yeah it was at least 200 litres a second more than the general area so well we're gonna um use the the dampener to limit the airflow going there So I'm done there now. Um, basically what I was trying to do was just kind of obviously uh, balance the airflow. So that small office at the front um, and the other office to the right hand side of that were both uh, getting too hot. Now they were also getting a lot of radiant heat from the sun coming straight in directly through that window. So originally, in, especially in that small office, we we're getting about, I think it was 600 um, liters a second. Um, after I kind of went through and, and balanced everything, I was I was kind of trying to get it to around that like four, like 350 to 400 mark. And and on average around, I think the after all the measurements, I think it was about three. 70 on average for the entire um, site because the, the Testo um, app gives you like an average or whatever. So I was pretty happy with that. I got that small office down to about, I think it was, um, uh, I, I took some photos. If I haven't put them up, I'll put them up now anyway. Um, but I think it's around that 350 to 400 mark. Um, and basically just trying to find that balance as well because obviously, you know, in winter, if they're getting that radiant heat from the sun at plus the extra, uh, plus that airflow, it's obviously going to be a lot hotter in there because it is a package unit in an office space. Like again, you know, it is what it is, but um, not trying to like, you know, what's the saying? Like feed, well, oh, I don't know. I can't remember what the saying is. But basically I'm trying to make sure that I'm not... Um, taking enough airflow, I'm taking too much airflow out of that space just to compensate for winter. And then when it comes around to summer, you know, they're, they're wanting more airflow, they're wanting more cooling in that space and I've taken it away. So I try to find a balance between that. Um, ho hopefully that was okay. Um, I, I told them to basically monitor it and let us know if they, if they think they need us to come back again. I'm not a commissioning tech. I, I just, I'm, I'm trying to learn all of this myself. Um, trying to make it all work. So um, anyway, went through, uh, balanced all the airflows just with the manual dampeners um, and got it all, I said, uh, roughly around that 350 to 400 mark per grill. Um, the, the thermostat for this one's obviously in the general office space as well. So trying to get like um, on average more airflow into that area to compensate for those smaller offices as well. Um, Cause obviously if you're getting more airflow into the offices, they will heat up quicker because they're a smaller space. The thermostat's still out in the larger space. The thermostat you know, isn't satisfying and, you know, so you might have a big discrepancy. So that's kind of why we were doing the, um, the, the air balancing. Um, hopefully this makes sense. I'm probably just rambling at this point, to be honest, but anyway, it went through. I'm pretty happy with how it all sits now. Um, but yeah, if you have any, um, extra like advice, I guess, um, maybe chuck it in the comments. I, I'd definitely be keen to hear it for the next time I try to do one of these. Cheers.